Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and dressing up as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Ladies and gentlemen, it is four months until Halloween, so you're running out of time officially. And in today's episode, we will be recreating from the classic children's board game, Mr. Mint from Candyland. Let's get started. Here it is, Mr. Mint from the beloved children's board game, Candyland. So today, I, I actually purchased a lot of this stuff. I don't think any of this was thrifted, but some of it, well, the wig I already had. Um, actually, that's not true. I did thrift this hat. Um, I actually had the axe too. So what I did buy was the shirt, the candy cane cat suit, and a couple of scrunchies. These are gonna go around the boot just like this. I did buy these boots in part because I liked them anyway. They're a short galoshes and they're red and they actually have a red and white stripe on them so I thought they would be so cute for this costume and something I would wear even if I wasn't being Mr. Mint. So it wasn't a waste. And then I got this little short, it's a short and tank top set. I got this from Burlington Coat Factory. It's a hot pink and I'm gonna need to do some work to make it look like the Mr. Mint costume. Basically I'm gonna cut this shirt into like the overall look that he had. It was kind of a cross strap that he had going across him in this look, so that's what I'm gonna do. I got a beanie, and this is just over top of a, a regular hat that had a white bill that I bought at the thrift store for like two bucks. And uh, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Mr. Mint costume. I think he turned out great. I am so glad that the other X didn't work out. For some reason, the paint was getting wonky, and I have painted the other X. It's plastic, and I painted it once before. So maybe paint two paint jobs was just too much. I ended up making this one out of PVC and some cardboard, and just kind of taped it all together. And this is all red electrical tape. Just wound the red electrical tape around it and it turned out great on the end I made little peppermint balls and then uh, we did the shorts together I found this button around my house it was quite a bigger button so all I did was spray paint it white and add some candy stripes onto it and uh, that's pretty much it that's the costume let's put our makeup on hello it's time to do our makeup I decided to put in my black sclera lenses because Mr. Mint kind of has a button eye and uh, I'm just gonna see how this how it works out you know kind of makes him look a little fake a little cartoony but he's got black button eyes and uh, I think with the rest of it it'll kind of you know won't be so scary looking 
We'll see, it might be like a clown. And those of you who are afraid of clowns might not like that, right? But I've got just a little bit of uh, Meron Paradise here in pink. I think it's just pink. Yes, light pink. We're gonna use that for our cheeks. I've already put my foundation on. It really doesn't have much of an eyebrow. I think they might even be pink. So what I might do is just take some of my pink Mayron and just kind of push that into my eyebrows. Or I'll use some kind of a, a pink shadow maybe in there. Pinkish shadow from this palette. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. My uh, Axe Dilemma was insane. For some reason, you know, I took my Axe that I used for the Tin Man and I had already painted it and trying to paint it a second time, it just wasn't happening. Like the paint was going on like plastic or something, like it would buckle up and peel off. So I don't know what was going on there, but it turns out I ended up making one and it looks much more cartoony. So I, I think it's kind of a happy accident that that happened. It's really hard for the spray paint to dry right now in Florida because it's so muggy outside. So, I've been having a really difficult time trying to get my spray paint to dry in this mugginess. So let's see what we do first. All right, let's go ahead and do our, our brows first. And then we are gonna wear a, a lash for this, a false lash. Let's see what this turns out like. Ah, not bad. I'm gonna use one of these mm, pointy toothpicks. Pointy toothpicks and not a toothpick. Q-tips, pointy Q-tips. A little point on it get a little water this is a water activated makeup so you will need a little bowl of water and a sponge or whatever you're applying your makeup with that turned out exactly how I wanted it to this character is like always in the snow so it's kind of like a frostbitten pink sort of look and I'll do the other one I have looked online for uh, this costume and the store-bought one looks really, really cheap, oversized. Just kind of, it, it looks really cheap. So I'm, this route is the way I would go to do Mr. Mint is kind of creating your own. It doesn't have to be necessarily the same things that I bought, but you can kind of come up with an idea on your own and make you make a nicer looking costume than what they're offering online. This one was a little pricier because I did spend like $35 on the boots or something, maybe $45, but I really liked the boots and I'll wear them more than just for this costume. They are a little, go uh, like a red galosh. I like them, they're cool. Now we gotta do our mascara and eyelashes and I think I might do them on camera so I can show you the eyelash hack that I learned in the, in the YouTube shorts. So mascara is always first, right? When we're putting on lashes we just put on our mascara that way if you have really light colored lashes they're not like poking out of your <laughs> your lashes will look more realistic because they're all the same color so you just take the lash watch it not work for me this time but it's been working pretty good instead of putting the lash glue on your false lash you're gonna put it on your real lash like just above it you want them corners to be glued down by the time you get that on there, it's gotten kind of tacky, probably. So you're just going to... Got my eyelashes on. I just didn't let it get tacky enough. It wasn't quite tacky enough. But as soon as it was tacky enough, I just laid them over the top. And it was easy. Easy peasy. I've got some foam here. I'm actually breaking all my own rules. <laughs> I did this last. I should have probably done this first. Well, one of the last things, anyway. Now, if you have a clown nose, at home, just like a regular shiny clown nose. The only thing with the clown noses is they do get uncomfortable. Like you feel like you can't breathe. If you have a clown nose, that might be the best thing to do, is use the clown nose. Um, I thought I had one. I don't, so I'm just gonna make do with what I do have. Hopefully it's not too gone. That's sort of this bright pink 
I think I'm gonna use because I won't even have to color it. It's kind of a big round nose, so that's what I'm trying to do. Just rolling it into a ball. And then I'm gonna figure out how to stick it onto my nose. Yeah, that's looking good. Just like that. I'm just gonna mush it on. Try to get a little flat part. Enough so I can glue it to my nose. See, there's kind of an indention in there now. I'm kind of putting it on my finger where I had just measured my nose. So I have a little indention there and that's what's gonna stick to my face, that part there. Stick to my nose, I should say. Then I'm gonna get out some of my spirit gum. I'm gonna try this cheaper one, just because it has a brush in it. See how good it does. Just pressing it on. I'm gonna let this dry. Now that we have our nose on, and all I did was put the glue on the flat part that we molded to our nose, and then I just held it down for, you know, a couple minutes until it dries. And it feels pretty secure. I am surprised. <laughs> just like a little clown nose. And once it's dry, you can manipulate it however you want. All right, now I'm gonna do my little pink cheeks. I just took this piece from another costume I was working on. I had used the circles. I'm just gonna get a little of my pink, same pink I used for the eyebrows. And I'm just gonna give myself my little rosy pink cheeks. All right, and do it to the other side. All right, what do you think so far? Wait till we get the costume one. I think it's gonna be really cute. Now, Mr. Mint only had a line. Just like that. Well, not just like that. Sometimes my lines get wonky. Just clean it up with your Q-tip and you might feel that your nose will try to slide or something in the first few minutes that you put it on, or any piece really, but just press it on. It's still kind of drying and getting tacky, so that's it. That's his face. Let's put our costume on. All dressed up and ready for photos. love today's look. Of course, this takes me way back. Candyland was my favorite game growing up. If you like to, they do have, there's a million options out there for group costumes, couples costumes. There's so many characters in Candyland that, you, you know, you can go as a whole family or um, sisters or friends or a big group of friends even. I've seen a lot of the photos and ideas in Google search and you can get really inspired by this game. That does it for today's episode. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you next time.